Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Toy Photography here at Hangar Bay 23. Um, Hasbro, what are you doing to us? Today's episode, um, the new HasLab um, His Tank and all the really cool stuff that's going on with it. Uh, but first, let's run the intro. Hey everybody, so by now I'm sure you've all seen the, the HasLab project, the His Tank that, that's coming out. And it is definitely coming out. It was backed almost immediately within 24 hours. It had reached uh, its funding goal and had hit almost the first stretch goal of the 10,000 backers. Um, which, I don't know if that's a record or not. I'll definitely check on that. But uh, almost uh, within one, one day, uh, we knew we were getting the His. Um, and it's amazing. So that should tell folks at Hasbro... Um, vehicles and if they listen to their fans, uh, their their HasLab projects will get made. Um, but you know, you follow me here on the, the the page, you see that I'm primarily a Star Wars collector, Star Wars shooter. Um, um, so if I would say that I was happy with the last HasLab products that uh, they've released for Star Wars, um, that would be a lie. Uh, the Rancor with uh, pieces of cardboard and chicken bones as stretch goals, and then a, um, a, a, a Inquisitor lightsaber that is, there's really nothing special about it. You can get lightsabers almost anywhere in the world. You know, um, there, there's nothing special. Uh, so it's almost like we're back in the late or mid 80s when Has Hasbro. Uh, really took the market over from Kenner and, and kind of put Star Wars to bed and dominated the market on, on G.I. Joe. And that's kind of where I feel like we are right now because last week, everybody's seen, uh, they released this amazing Hiss tank as um, their new G.I. Joe project. And it's incredible. And I'm not going to lie to you, uh, I've, I've already uh, ordered mine to bring in to do photography with um, so I, I'm really excited about getting it then a little over a year from now. Um, but yeah, so th this tank is, is amazing. And, it, and you can tell, it, we've already mentioned it was funded within the first um, 24 hours. Uh, so everyone else is kind of amazed or kind of excited about uh, getting these vehicles too. You know, a, a six inch vehicle for the, these really articulated, really detailed figures is going to be amazing. Uh, so, the tank's got the functioning wheels, it's got moving treads, um, the, the cockpit on the interior of it, it's got a super detailed cockpit with, with the light-up interior and stuff like that. The, the pre-production pictures show that it has a light-up cockpit, we'll see how that actually comes out. Um, the new Goldwing canopy, uh, it kind of looks really futuristic and kind of cool. Something I'm, one of the, the features I, I'm really excited about is the rear cargo bay, and, you know. Um, for the original Hiss tank, you know, you'd, you'd unscrew the top, pull the top piece off, and you'd put some figures down in there, kind of making it as an armored personnel carrier. Uh, but that wasn't really designed that way. But there was a ton of dead space in the back of it, and it was wasted space. Uh, this one, you've got the rear cargo bay, and it's, it's a detailed personnel platform with uh, some room for equipment in there. You put some troops in there, stuff like that. And, and it's really, really cool that the, they've actually detailed that space out. Uh, of course, the hiss has got the turret on the top with uh, the cannon accessories. Um, and if you watch a couple other videos on, on the hiss, the, the little ports on the side, the, there's a couple of little indents. Uh, you can see some speculation about folks, uh, what the, they believe those indents were for. Um, we did find out on stretch goal number three what those were for, and we'll talk about that here in, in just a couple minutes. Um, like almost all the, the vehicles that they've made in the, um, the HasLab line, uh, there's removable engine covers. Uh, engine's going to be detailed. I would expect the level of de detail um, that you would get for these vehicles on, on the engine cover and stuff like that. The armor skirt plating um, that covers the treads, the, the new armor plating that covers the treads, that is also removable so that the treads can be, um, the wheels and everything, um, all exposed. And then there's a, a kind of a fold-down crew ladder, um, kind of like you'd see on a modern fighter aircraft or something like that. If you look at the production pictures, it's on the side, a little red ladder. 
it comes down and is, is, is right there on the side to uh, help the driver get into the cockpit. And something that was really cool that they announced, it's just caused a little bit of confusion, but something that was really cool is the early bird special offering. Um, they included a special action figure, the Hiss Tactician action figure uh, by inspired by Ron Rudet's designs. Um, so if the Hiss was fully backed by today, I'm filming, uh, again I said I'm a week late, so I'm filming on uh, July 6th. If the Hiss was fully backed by July 6th, um, everyone would get a um, one of these action figures. This is going to be a fan vote of folks that have purchased the vehicle um, and you get to see which action figure that you'd like to get out of this line. Um, so the little confusion was everybody thought that they had to purchase by the state to get one of these figures. It's not really true. As long as you purchase the HISS within the 45 days that this, this uh, is offering, um, you will get one of these figures. It just had to be funded by today, um, which by today, day six, we've unlocked the third stretch goal for this vehicle. So we're at 14,000 backers. We're at 14,055 backers when I started filming today um, to, to, to allow the, this vehicle to come out. Uh, my personal favorite of these is the, the gray and black um, uh, tactician, um, but I really think I'm voting for the red and black just to kind of keep the, the theming of the driver and the gunner that was released uh, as the third stretch goal, and we are getting the gunner, uh, again, because we're at 14,055 um, backers as of right now, uh, but we'll, we'll get to those stretch goals too. So... Um, that, was, that was really neat that they gave us kind of a, a stretch goal almost immediately. Uh, just a little, hey, if this is backed really quick, you're going to get this kind of bonus figure. And then, like I said, almost 24 hours, maybe right at the 24-hour mark, mark um, the first upgrade, the first, the first um, unlock was there, the upgrade number one, which is the two removable side-mounted missile racks. Now, this is kind of a non-hiss thing. I think this is maybe featured in a couple of cartoons, maybe a couple of comic books. Um, I'm not really big on the cartoons or comic book world. I, this is one of the things I would pop on TV when I get home from school uh, and, and kind of enjoy G.I. Joe. Uh, but I, I, I'm not into that world as deep as I am into the Star Wars, Star Wars universe. Uh, so I really don't know all, all the lore and legacy behind the, the hiss and everything of how big the, these rocket launchers played into the, the evolution of the vehicle. But we are getting two of these missile launchers, um, which sort of kind of turn the hiss into a modern day MLRS or multiple rocket launch uh, missile system. Um, the rockets will come in, slide in and out. Um, looks like they're, they're on like a little peg or something like that. It's kind of a cool accessory. Uh, especially for those of us in the toy photography world, uh, this will look cool being able to arm uh, and do stuff with the, these missiles and around the hiss. Uh, so it's kind of neat. Um, and then when we hit that goal, they announced uh, stretch goal number two. Really kind of disappointed in this one um, for the, the neat things that were uh, the rocket launchers and stuff like that. You know, that's kind of cool, make some great pictures and stuff. Um, they went retro on us on this one with the plastic canopy and the armor plating tread skirts. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to go with the retro armored tread skirts on the Hiss vehicle. I just I think they like I like the looks of those a little bit better than the pictures I've seen with the the new tread skirts. Um, but we'll see when the vehicle gets here. Really cool that I have a choice now, but I was kind of slightly underwhelmed um, with this stretch goal, and I, I felt like maybe they were kind of taking us. Uh, down the path they've, they've taken us on, on the Star Wars stretch goals before of, of this is funded, and this, well, this is happening, this is what we're going to get, and it, it's not going to really be that special. But then they announced stretch goal number three, and this, this completely made up for the underwhelmingness of um, the tread covers and the, the retro canopy. Um, we get a gunner action figure. And by the body build and, and the shape and everything of her body figure, this looks like it's going to be a female figure to go with her other driver. So we're going to have a, a, a female Cobra gunner to go with her, her driver. Um, and then the weapons pack. There's uh, chin guns that go on the um, under, well, on the chin of the Hiss. So up underneath the driver's compartment, 
and then those little pegs that were, were speculated on whenever the videos were and the photos were just released of what can they put there? Is this going to be another rocket launching system? Is what's going to go up there? Well, this is we know now is where these two mini guns are going to get mounted up with with our gunner. So we get a, the gunner figure, we get some chin guns, and we get extra uh, weaponry for the gunner to operate in the turret. And not only do we get extra weaponry for the gunner to operate, um, she also comes with not only her rifle with bayonet and a sidearm, but um, a, a shovel and then kind of a little pickaxe type thing too. So we're also getting some extra tools and stuff with this equipment as well. Um, so, like I said, when I started filming this, we had just hit the uh, 14,000 uh, backers on this. Uh, I was kind of waiting to see if they had released what stretch goal number four was going to be. That hasn't come out yet. Um, I'm actually expecting that uh, here probably within the next hour they're going to release it and let us know what it's going to be. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to, the, to, to getting this vehicle in. It's, it's big. Um, and I think uh, the dimensions that, that we have up now, it's, uh, she's like 19 inches long, almost 11 inches tall. I don't have a width on it, but I do, do have a comparison picture on Insta where it's sitting by a 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, hiss, and, and they, it's, it's significantly wider too. So getting this vehicle out in, in 6 inches is going to be amazing. So that's all the cool and fun stuff about the vehicle. Um, we are going to talk about the one little negative thing that, that, that's kind of hanging over this vehicle too. And, and that's a lot with, that's a lot of discussions uh, right now is price point of this vehicle. Um, price point conversation is kind of dying off a little bit. Um, Especially, you know, we've got uh, the three figures that, that have been released, you know, that, that we're going to get, get going to get with it. Um, but still, $300 for a vehicle, uh, that, that, that's an ask is, that ask is, is kind of significant still. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a beautifully built vehicle and everything, but um, for something that, especially in, in my world, photography world, um, it's, it's going to sit on my shelf and I'll probably take take it out for pictures three times four times a year so actually sat down and had the conversation of do I justify spending three hundred dollars out of the budget uh, for this vehicle uh, just just to have to shoot a couple videos and take a couple pictures with um, you know um, so that, that was a real conversation and I'm sure that's a real conversation going on in a lot of people's minds and I know that that's something that a lot of folks are looking at um, I don't think it's going to get any better. We've seen Black Series uh, Star Wars stuff. We've seen the, the Classified Series line. But that, that price point continue to inch up. So uh, I, I don't think we're going to get any relief on, on price points anytime soon. So uh, hopefully as the stretch goals uh, are, are announced, um, that that'll continue to add value to the vehicle and it, it'll make it worth spending hard-earned money on. But but yeah, those conversations are real, and that's something that that really, I don't know if, I hope that the folks at Hasbro are having those conversations when they're deciding what they're going to release as their next HasLab projects and stuff like that. But with that, uh, I want to wrap up for the day. I look forward to sharing uh, news with you on this project. I really look forward to doing an unboxing for the His Tank, which will probably be late in Season 4. Uh, the estimated shipping on this vehicle is fall of 2023. So it's going to be a hot minute before uh, I get one here in the studio and get it outside. Um, but hopefully the we'll, first couple pictures will be some, some, some amazing snow pictures. Um, and I'll keep you up to, date, up to date on where that process is. If you're not, if you didn't get one, if you're not going to kind of stay in the loop, um, I, I'm not going to. I'll share with you what I know, but I'm not going to just keep it front and center. Uh, but yeah, I will share the unboxing, and then we'll go take some pictures and stuff like that with it. Um, yeah. Until then, though, thanks for joining. Uh, look forward to doing some more pictures. Um, have a photo shoot planned uh, later on today, so we'll be filming that as well and uh, get another video out here really, really soon. Till then, be safe, and I look forward to sharing uh, more photography stuff with you really soon. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.